Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how I made a leather sheath for the skinning knife that I made. This is uh, the first time I've ever made a leather knife sheath. I think it turned out not too bad. So I hope you like the video. If so, please subscribe. Please feel free to leave comments and thanks for watching. The leather I'm using here is seven to eight ounce vegetable tan, the full grain leather cowhide. I started out by laying the knife out on the leather about an inch from the edge and marked the height for the sheath to go up the handle, rolled the knife over and gave myself another inch. And that way I got my dimensions for the piece I needed through those lines and cut it out. Once I had the piece cut out, I marked a line down the center where the fold is going to be. Then I can remove some of that material there to get a tighter fold. Next step was to take some lukewarm water soak the leather in the water to get it moist and pliable. Now I'm just wrapping the knife up in some cellophane to protect it from moisture while I'm using it to form the shape of the sheath. Once the leather was moist, uh, took it out of the water bath and went ahead and made the fold and pressed it down to try to get a good tight crease on the fold. Then I went ahead and put the knife in the sheath and folded it over and pressed down so I could uh, form the leather into the shape of the knife. Once I had the sheath formed to match the shape of the knife, I put some clamps on it and uh, just let it sit for a couple of days to dry. And I'm drawing the outline of the blade so that when I put the welt in, I'll know where to place it and, and how far to bring my glue. Then I laid the blade back onto the leather, uh, drew an outline on the blade so I could cut out the welt. There I'm just marking out and cutting out the belt loop. Now I'm just marking another line following the contour of the blade. That's going to be the shape of the sheath and that's going to be uh, the cut line. And once I had it cut out, I put the knife back in the sheath just to check the dimensions, make sure everything fits. And I went ahead and cut a groove for my stitch line.
Yeah, once I had a little bit of a pattern established around the edges there, I went ahead and added my initials. Just working on the belt loop there and getting the stitch line in. After laying it out, the welt didn't really fit the way it needed to, so I'm just trimming it up, trying to get a better fit into the sheet. There, I'm just trimming down the end of the welt there, right where it goes into the fold, so that the the fold is uh, more consistent and smooth down at the bottom. Now, just getting ready to put the die on. Uh, for the die, I used uh, Phoebe's Pro die, and I mixed uh, two different colors. 50-50 approximately of mahogany and light brown. Once the dye was dry, I applied some ink oil to help waterproof and protect the leather. Next step was to attach the belt loop to the sheath. I'd already put holes into the belt loop, but not in the sheath. So once the glue had set, I used a 1 16th inch drill bit to make the holes in the sheath and then sewed it up. There I'm gluing in the welt uh, one side at a time. Once I had the welt in and had it all glued up, I stitched it up. From there, I trimmed off the excess welt with a box cutter and then took it over to my belt sander and sanded it down. Once I had it sanded down, I applied dye to the belt. Next, I applied some water to the edges and burnished the edges. Then I applied some leather balm and buffed it to give the leather a nice shine.
So I made a few mistakes along the way, but I learned from them, and overall I'm happy with the result. Uh, that's my first leather sheath going on my first knife. Hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching.